Yeehaw class, welcome back. We're going to solve for x using the graphing method here on the TI-84. So the first thing we want to do is our equations in quadratic form. Let's go ahead and type that 5x squared plus 4x minus 5 into the y equals of our calculator. And the goal today is to get the calculator to figure out where this parabola crosses the x-axis. And where that occurs, those are going to be my answers for x when we set this equal to 0. And so we notice that when our parabola develops, we have two places that it's crossing the x-axis. And I'm going to use a z-box. I'm going to go under Zoom, z-box. And by doing this, it's going to allow me to create a box that will allow me to zoom in to those x-intercepts. And I'm also going to include the vertex as well so I can see my cursor moving from one side of the equation to the other. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the calculator to calculate that left x-intercept. Because where the parabola crosses the x-axis, those are my values of x. Or those are, in other words, called the zeros or roots. And so we're going to go second calc, and we're going to say, hey, calculator, calculate the zero. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to scroll over using my left arrow on the calculator to calculate that left x-intercept. And it's asking you to get to the left bound of it, so I get above it, get to the right bound, below, take a guess where you think it's at. And we get an answer of about negative 1.48. And so where y is 0, x is negative 1.48. And we do the same thing. This time we're going to calculate the x-intercept on the other side of the parabola. So we go all the way down. Yeehaw! What a ride. Get to the left bound, which is below. Get to the right bound, which is above. And take a guess. And where y is 0, we get another answer of x equals about 0.68. Enjoy.